Towards like the presence yet again of some really heavy showers across the southwest. It looks as though tomorrow will be a good deal cloudier and for some of us a good deal wetter than was the case today. And the loss of the showers dying away in the southwest, we import more cloud and some rain for Kent and Sussex. And then looking away towards the north, a new area of cloud and rain gradually flirting with the north coast of Norfolk, gradually working its way up the eastern side of England. It's going to be a mild night wherever you're spending it. It's not all about cloud and rain for Sunday. A bright enough start across Wales uh, in the north, across the western side of Scotland, and for Northern Ireland too. But all the while, we'll drag this area of cloud and rain ever further towards the north and west. And at the same time, yet again across the southwest, there will be plenty of showers. Some of them really quite sharp, yet again across the moors and the tours of the southwest. Some of them there again in the southern half of Wales. Looking a little bit further north, though, something slightly brighter there. And then as we get across the Irish Sea, a uh, dry enough afternoon for the most part for Northern Island, one or two showers, maybe one or two in the west of Scotland, where the temperatures again could get up to 22 or 23. A disappointing end to the day, though, across the eastern side of Scotland and for much of the north of England. Some heavy pulses of rain mixed into this area. And then as we come a little bit further south, after a fairly dull old start across uh, East Anglia,